I want, um, first off, to recognize that the, in spirit of respect, we ask each of you who work with this project, who are consultants to this project, to think of your children and to make decisions that are intentional and conscious about what you're proposing here for all of these people and all of this land. I think it's very important that uh, you make those decisions and be real about it because uh, that's a very, a, a major thing of overriding the experience of all these people and this land with a project that has no future here. I, I would like to, I would like to honor the people who were turned away at this meeting and I would like to address the people here now because basically it is our meeting and it is important that we as people in our lives recognize the kinds of things we need to do as individuals to recognize that the solution comes up every morning and that projects that are so detrimental to our ecosystems and our lives uh, need to be stopped and, and basically I think rejected from, from very deep in us. Part of that is the realization and I think a commitment we need here tonight that those people who were turned away and the many other people here tonight that won't be able to say what they would like to say about this project and like to do about this project, I think we need a commitment from this corporation to make sure that the people of BC, the people of the greater uh, Vancouver area has another opportunity to be able to uh, experience the kind of crap that's going on. Part of that, part of that means taking our power as people. And I would just like to do a little show of hands tonight. We know the answer. We have the power in us to join together, to get on with all the other kinds of things we need to organize, organize in our lives to provide a sustainable, solution-based future for our kids. So I'd like to just do a little show of hands. All those in favor of the Run of River, Run of River Inc. project on the upper pit, please raise your hands. consensus I've ever got. All of you going on the Run of River Project, please raise your hand. <laughs> I think one of the things that we really need to do is organize big on this and realize that it goes much further right into the halls of our supposed government. So we have a little bit more than a year and we need to do lots of organizing. And sometimes at events like this when the sham at the front of the room it not really listening and isn't really there in terms of what are the concerns of the room and that was pretty obvious. Sometimes we need to show them and express to them what the power of the people means. I've been in events where people have actually turned the chairs around and conducted their own organizing meetings at the other side of the hall. And inviting all of them, you can come too. <laughs> but I would also suggest there's many other ways of getting involved in this issue. There's lots of groups working on it. Save Our Rivers, Western Canada Wilderness Committee, many other groups that are, are please sign all their contact forms. There's lots to organize on this. We only have a little bit more than a year with regards to the election coming up in 09. Let's make sure that our rivers run free forever. <laughs>